When it comes to budget devices, Asus has done incredible job with the Zenfone Max device that packs 5000 mAh battery life and incredible features under just rupees 10,000. And just after 5 months of release, they have brought a customized upgrade to a specially made for India Zenfone Max that packs more storage, more horsepower and promises better performance. This is the review of all new Zenfone Max that packs octa-core processor and the variants of 2GB and 3GB of RAM. The new Zenfone Max comes in two new colors, orange and blue, and it is also available in existing white and black colors. The contrast metallic ring is stronger and looks much better with this new orange color that I have received, and the itching on the back cover provides a much needed grip for this big device. There are not much changes at the front side as you get the speaker on the top along with the sensors and the physical capacitive keys at the bottom followed by the glossy black metallic plate. The orange color at the back looks very uncommon to the other colors available in smartphones and can easily become a style statement for some. The camera with the dual LED flash pops out at the top side of the back cover along with the mic whereas the big speaker panel is on the bottom side. Zenfone Max has 3.5mm jack on the top to plug in your favorite set of headphones or earphones and at the bottom you have a microphone for calling and micro USB port for charging. The micro USB port can be used to reverse charge any other device so you can use this smartphone as a power bank something we have already seen work great in original Zenfone Max. The left side has no ports whereas the right side has a power button and the volume rockers that gives nice tactile feedback and feels solid to use. The back cover is surprisingly thin yet feels sturdy and is easy to remove from the body. The battery however is not removable just like the last generation. You will find two SIM card slots on the top with the micro USB slim slot for expanding storage up to 64 GB. The display is an IPS panel making it easy to look at from any angle and the color reproduction is quite impressive for the sub 10k device. The images looks colorful and vibrant on the screen, making it easier for eyes to use the device for the long time. The text rendering on this device is quite sharp at the highest zoom, which makes it a great device for prolonged reading on a browser or Kindle ebooks. This device now comes with an Octa-core Snapdragon 615 processor, twice as much faster than the previous generation of Max and 32GB of onboard storage to store much more photos, movies and music. The RAM is now beefed up to 3GB but you can still buy the base version with 2GB memory. Talking about the performance, this all new Zenfone Max scored over 37,000 in Antutu benchmark and 651 in Geekbench for single core performance and 2869 for the multi core. This shows the new device is 60 to 70% as much faster compared to the original Zenfone Max. The single core performance is theoretically close to Samsung Galaxy S4, but the multi core performance is almost between OnePlus One and Samsung Galaxy S5, which are twice and thrice as much expensive devices as of now, respectively. This performance would get even better with the 3GB RAM variant, but the price difference is significant in that case. Browsing on this device is very fluent and you can browse number of tabs of Chrome at the same time without compromising any performance. The features like kinetic scrolling and pinch to zoom are very responsive making the overall browsing experience very productive. Gaming on the Zenfone Max was a great experience thanks to the Adreno 405 GPU coupled with the new high performance hardware. We played some mid-level games for prolonged times and experienced nominal warmness under the hood. The frame rates were solid even for the multiplayer games on Wi-Fi and load times have significantly increased compared to the previous generation of Zenfone Max.
With so many smartphones we have tested so far, the camera app from the Zenfone series offers the most customization and stylizations, especially since the Zenfone Zoom launch. The camera app lets you take great pictures by offering preset filters like smiles, miniatures with the depth of field effect, slow motion and so much more. The most useful of all is a super resolution that packs much more pixels per photograph, making it crystal clear even on the highest zoom. The 13 megapixel rear camera has f2.0 aperture and comes with the fastest 0.03 laser autofocus technology. The 5P Lagan lens in the Max is well known for its precision, and the Toshiba BSI high sensitivity sensor can capture images even in the shaky situations. The quality of pictures outdoor has improved, whereas for the indoor, you have to switch to a low light mode to take better pictures. The videos can be recorded in 1080p Full HD that produces really nice effect even indoors. You can tweak the focus during the recording, which is quite amazing. You can also use the manual mode controls provided with the default camera app in the videos as well. So for the camera and filming enthusiasts, this is nothing less than a treat. The 5 megapixel front camera still struggles to take good photos in low light. However, it takes the better selfies with the beautification filter on. The front camera has 85 degree wide angle to pack as many friends as you can in a perfect selfie. This front shooter is good enough for video calling and selfies, but I did not find any improvements here compared to the original Zenfone Max. The biggest benefit of 5.5 inch IPS display is always going to be the media consumption, be it a music video or watching movies. With the increased specification, you can watch 1080p Full HD videos without any stutter or lag. But as expected, it failed to run 4K videos. The sound quality on this device is decent with the loud and crisp sounds that are good enough to be heard across the room. The vocals are impressive compared to the other devices I have, whereas the bass is on the average side. The bass gets better when you use the earphones and will depend on the quality of the earphone itself. The earphones are not provided in the box, but with my Sennheiser HD180 headphones, I enjoyed listening to music on Zenfone Max. I have already discussed the well-designed Zen UI and a great set of pre-installed apps that comes with it in the original Zenfone Max review which you can watch here. The non-removable 5000mAh battery on this thing is massive in every manner. It can provide you up to 38 days of standby time and 3 days of long battery life even on a single charge. You can watch 22 hours of videos, use the browser for straight 32 hours on Wi-Fi and talk more than 37 hours on 3G network. These claims from ASUS are hard to test in the first two days we have used this device, but based on our current usage, we can easily relate to these figures are being true. Since last two days, I am casually using this device for testing, playing games or downloading on Wi-Fi and I still have 55% of battery left, which is quite impressive. It takes 3.5 to 4 hours to charge this device, which should have been provided with a fast charging technology considering the battery size. And like I mentioned before, you can use this phone as a power bank to charge other devices, a feature more useful for friends around you unless you carry two devices. This upgrade to original Zenfone Max has come way too early, but considering the significant changes ASUS has done with this device, it has become one solidly built budget smartphone under Rs 10,000 with the most features. There are hardly one or two good smartphones in that budget I could recommend and nothing that offers so much storage space along with a massive battery as much as the new Zenfone Max. For the price of Rs 9999, I will highly recommend going for the 2GB variant of the smartphone for the increased performance and improved camera. And if you are looking for that extra performance juice, the 3GB RAM version would cost about Rs 13,000. 
If you enjoyed watching this video, please hit a like button and share it with your friends. We do reviews of smartphones, laptops, games, PC components and many other tech accessories. And if you're into something like this, please subscribe to our channel for our upcoming videos. Thank you for watching Digital Conqueror.